everybody, Bob KK4DIV, and finally, the weather is starting to change here in Florida. Yeah, I know, it's been a long time since I made a video, and I think in my last video I said I was going to start making more videos, but I haven't really been inspired to do much, and I can't put a video together if, I'm, if I really don't have anything to say, or anything to do. I didn't have anything to do because it's just been so hot and I've been so busy doing other things I just haven't had a chance to get out and the days I did have a chance to get out it was either you know too hot or rainy or something came up where I couldn't get out and do anything so it's been a while folks and you know I apologize but I'm here today and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of outdoor activity we're gonna go out to uh, haven't figured out where I'm going to go yet, but I do want to get out and do a satellite. I've got a fairly decent SO50 pass coming over, and we're going to try that out. So most of you know, and probably have seen in a previous video, or I may have talked about it, maybe I didn't, I don't know. You might not know, <laughs> but I got a new radio. It's not a new on the market radio. It is a new radio, and it's new to me. And uh, I've got some uh, other equipment, and I've got it in this nice little go box right here for satellite equipment. And uh, yeah, let's open this up and we'll see what we got in here. We have the Kenwood THD72. Um, the reason I got this was for the duplexing capability. I have a FT8800 I was using. Um, it's nice because it's 50 watts, but you don't really need 50 watts to get into the satellites. A lot of people do it with HTs. So I got this HT. It is a, a dual. It's a dual bander. It's dual receive. You can. Uh, it's dupl duplex. So uh, I'm able to. Uh, talk onto the uh, bird and should be able to hear myself back. I tried this a while back uh, at our club's tailgate and uh, I was getting feedback because I think when I talked and then it was coming back into the speaker, it was getting into the mic and creating some feedback. Um, so I quickly just shut down. I, it, it wasn't working out. So, what I have now is a headset system. This is a bunch of wires right here. Let me tell you, it's, oh my gosh. Oh, there, there goes that. It's a big old, <laughs> it's a mess. All right, so let's see if I can get this untangled here. Okay, all right, so. Yeah. All right, this, obviously, goes into the Kenwood. Cool thing about this little uh, adapter I got, it's got a PTT button with some Velcro, so I could strap that to my thumb and maybe hit the PTT. All right, so out of the PTT, or out of the cable goes into this splitter uh, and this is a splitter that takes the I forget what they're called but it's a four prong or a four pin conductor it's got four uh, conductors in there where the audio or the um, yeah the, the receive the headphone and the microphone are in one jack and it splits it up. So now I have a headphone side and a microphone side. So the mm, headphone side, <laughs> uh, I have a splitter on. <laughs> it's confusing as hell. Uh, okay. So the headphone side, the splitter, one side of the splitter goes into my voice recorder. Just a cheap Sony voice recorder. 
and the other side of the headset goes into where the other side of the headphone jack goes actually into the headset the microphone side goes into the microphone jack of the headset so this headset has a headphone jack and a microphone jack are you confused it took me a while to figure all this out and I was on I was on Amazon I was like how can I make this work but I made it work I uh, tested it out it does seem to work um, I tried it out on the local repeater so it does seem to work and then uh, the other thing in there is my SMA to BNC adapter and then we've got you've seen my antenna the uh, the clone the the clone that I made of the uh, oh elk antenna um, somebody gave me their uh, they figured out the uh, dimensions that, uh, off of somebody else's elk antenna. They made one. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I made my own. If you uh, want to check that out, I'll put a link up there for the uh, for my build of the uh, elk antenna. It was in uh, two parts, I believe. So, all right. So that's my little go box for my uh, satellite. Uh, it's in a small little box, and I can just grab it, grab my antenna, and head out the door and go to the park so uh, that's what we're going to do today uh, I'm not sure if we're going to a park not sure if I'm just gonna set up in the uh, driveway here or the yard um, but we're going to uh, try to do an SO50 pass so why don't y'all stay tuned for that so down there we've got the satellite radio go kit that I put together it's got the Kenwood THD72 Handy Talkie, a voice recorder, and the, uh, the headset, and oh, numerous wires to get everything all wired up. And then right over here, we've got the log periodic antenna that I made. And we're just back here in the, kind of on the side of the house. Uh, we got the satellite pass, and we're going to... Uh, now that a lot of the trees are gone, it's not perfect, but it's a little bit better. Tried to go down there to the park, but they were doing uh, work with some uh, construction equipment, some uh, machinery, getting that field prepped and uh, landscape irrigation put in. So uh, uh, that uh, nice grass field that was there before the hurricane looks like they're getting ready to uh, uh, get irrigation in and uh, get some sod put down. So uh, hopefully we'll have a nice grass field over there again soon. but. I kind of put a damper on my plans today so I couldn't get out there. All right, well, I feel like I'm just really wired up here between the camera and the uh, radio and all that. This is, uh, I think I'm going to need three or four hands, but we're going to see how all this works out. Uh, I think it may work a little better with the headset. It's just, it's just a lot of wires. Uh, but I've got my voice recorder here so it can and it's wired directly into the radio so uh, yeah we've got the pass starting in about oh about a minute so uh, let's uh, let's get this thing going okay all right well I've got everything wired up here Ugh. I use the ISS detector uh, is the software I use to track the satellite so this thing just started should be just coming over the horizon and I like to keep my phone kind of on the ground right in front of me so I can see where the satellite is so let's uh, let's pick this antenna up see what we can do KK4 DIV Echo Mike 70. KK4 DIV Echo Mike 70. K3 Triple L KK4 DIV Echo Mike 70.
Victor X-Ray Station, KK4 DIV, Echo Mike 70. X-Ray Papa 2, Victor X-Ray, KK4 DIV, Echo Mike 70. All right, well, unfortunately, that was a complete bust. Um, made no contacts. Um, couldn't even hear myself on the downlink side of the satellite, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I was noticing something with my antenna when I would turn it and move it certain ways. Uh, the static would, you know, sound different. Like there was a connection that would make and then lose it, you know, like the, st the static would get louder and then it would back off as I was moving. So I've got to check my antenna for uh, all the soldering and things like that because there may be something loose in the antenna. Or it could be my coax, that BNC coax I have that's, uh, you know, got the BNC on both ends. That could be it. Um... I maybe just wasn't getting a signal or a good strong signal through the antenna or you know or there could be a loose solder somewhere on the antenna that was causing uh, it to mess up I did hear a couple people didn't hear very many I don't know if it's because it's a weekday um, there just wasn't many people on but I would have thought if there wasn't many people on then I should have been heard so I don't know I heard I think it was a um, a Mexico station, I believe it was, or could have been, maybe it was Kilo Papa 4. Uh, maybe that's what I was hearing. I don't know. Um, that would have been, uh, Puerto Rico, I guess. Um, I don't know. I just didn't have any luck. It was very disappointing. I thought for sure with the headset, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, going to get something. I got nothing. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes with satellites, kind of like it goes that way sometimes with QRP. Um, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some, and today I lost some. So, uh, it was definitely, as always, a learning experience just to get out there and get the equipment. Uh, I did get on the repeater and uh, spoke to one of the local hams here, uh, K4MDA, and got a good signal report uh, um, or a good audio report from the... Um, the headset, uh, but I had uh, switched to the rubber ducky antenna. I guess looking back, and uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I guess I uh, should have left the Yagi on there, or not the Yagi, but the log, log periodic antenna on there uh, to see if uh, see if it was acting up on the repeater. But oh well, you know it is what it is, and I didn't, so we'll have to. Uh, We'll have to continue testing on the new uh, little satellite go kit I've got uh, and that log periodic antenna. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time in a future video. And remember, uh, if you like what you see, give this th video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down there. Just say hi or something. So uh, everybody take care. We'll see you next time. KK4DIV.